Welcome to our virtual tour at the robotic barn at Fair Oaks Farms. I am Francisco Rodriguez, Robotics Business Director for Delaval in North America. So when we think about robotic milking, it's not just about having highly efficient barns that take good care of cows, but it is also about taking good care of people and making sure that labor is as efficient as possible. And that's why it was decided that we wanted to have all the 12 robots located into a one centralized location. And that is exactly what we did here. So here we're seeing the barn from the second floor. And here I'm showing you the different robots that are milking the cows. I want to show you how these cows are flowing. There are three rows of freestyles per side of feed bank. The two internal alleys, if those cows want to go to the feed alley, they need to go through a smart selection gate. And that smart selection gate is called a pre-selection gate that is going to say, yes, you have milking permission or you don't have milking permission. And here we see cows going through that pre-selection gate. That white cow over there didn't have milking permission so she goes to feed bunk and she does that around 10 times a day. The cow behind her, it seems like she has milking permission, so she will need to go into the commitment pen. Let's see if that happens. You see this cow inside the commitment pen. Those cows over there, they will have access to the robots. And then once those cows are milked, they exit through a second smart post selection gate. And that smart post selection gate that we're seeing here behind the fan, they say, okay, you're a special needs cow or you already you were already milked, now you have to go back to, to eat. So that cow was not a special needs cow and we will see how that cow will go to feed bunk and then eat. Here I'm gonna show you the equipment room. Here is where we would have our vacuum pumps, compressors, water softeners, we have all the equipment necessary to run the barn. As you can see here, everything has a spare just in case. We'll run a couple of compressors here. Then we will have three vacuum pumps where two are running and one is a spare vacuum pump just in case. So here we would go into our milk room where we would have our milk filters, then chiller, and then two bulk tanks that would have the capacity of storing the milk for two days with a high capacity transfer pump so that we can speed up the load of the milk to the truck. So this is our milk room. Here we have our milk room where we chosen, we had two alternatives. Uh, we could have direct load or we could have uh, cooling tanks and the decision was made to have cooling tanks so that we could have the flexibility uh, of uh, and not being always attached to a truck being out there and loading the milk and so on. Uh, it gives us the independence, it gives us the flexibility. So now continue with our virtual tour. We are entering the barn now and this is gonna be magic. This is where our 840 cows are housed. It feels so good. This is June. Summertime, the air here is fantastic, temperature is amazing, quality of air. Right now we see the misters, each one of those fans in the back have high pressure misting, so because it is low humidity right now, so the strategy of ventilation right now is low, high pressure misting on those cows. Here, what we're seeing in the back is one pen of 210 cows. They are coming through the smart selection gate and then going into the robot. So that would be one pen. And what you see upstairs is where we were before, showing you the layout of the barn. Now here, we're coming inside our robot room. Very efficient, very quiet, very comfortable. I'm going to give you a 360 degree view of the robot room where we have one pen here of three robots. In the back, we have our office and we have three more robots here, three V300s. And as we go around, then we have another three robots here. At the end of the, of the robot room, we have all the chemicals and everything that we will see in just a minute. And then we finalize with the last 
set of three more robots. All those robots will be pumping milk into this receiver that will be pumping milk then into the bulk tank. The V300s here are doing a fantastic job. We will see later on stall times, we see no production. You can actually see it from here. Individual take off. We're just gonna take a minute to see how this cow is milking and how the tea dip is applied. The technology is just amazing how we can milk each quarter individually. And once the cow is done with our Celaval inside, we would go and apply tea dip in each one of the teeth. Cow is protected and then she's ready to leave. Now we will go towards the back and we will see the chemical room. Here then we have all our chemicals, detergents, tea dips. Then we have all the valves and pumps that would pump these into the robots. Clean, super clean installation. So here we just left the robot room. We're walking in between two pens. This was a very nice feature of this barn having this walkway in between the two pens. So to my right, one pen, to my left, the other pen, to my back, I used a mirror image of this. So we're walking towards the end of the barn. Very important part of the barn, I wanna show you how the manure system works. Uh, this manure system here, we have scrapers. And then that manure goes towards the end and it's pumped so that the mench comes, put it into the tank and bring it to the digestion. Once again, looking at the manure system, it's a JOZ scraper system with chains, as you will see right now in the floor. There are chains in the floor and there are coming towards this end or there is another set of scrapers at the other end of the barn. So now I'm gonna walk you through the feed alley. Something that I strongly recommend when you're planning your robotic barn is to have headlocks. This is a pretty cool feature as you will still running your routines. So it's quite, quite important. Here we have an office space for the TMR to go and dump the ration. Then here we have the feed alley, swinging cow rushes. Then this, because this is a milk first, as cows finish having their meal, they will come through those finger gates into the internal alley. This would be the first internal alley, then a set of head to heads and a water trough. Then the second internal alley with the third row of crystals. Here we're looking at the full robot room. And of course here at Ferox Farms, we have a visitor center upstairs. I would encourage if you're building your project, having a viewing area is nice. So this is it, a uh, robotic barn at Ferox Farms. We had a great time. We hope you're having a great time.